Big guys, I don't know if you can uh, hear us from there, but I'll see what's happened. Um, we've put the two ferrets in, and uh, there's one actually got hold of a rabbit right where War Kid is at the minute, yeah, about two foot under. And the other ferret has got one held up around four foot, um, just where I've been before, so it's going to be a little bit of a first digging session. We'll see how we get on. Right, yeah. Well, as you can see, ferrets don't lie. We've got our first one. Second one. Second one. Second one, sorry. And if I can get the ferret off, I'll uh, I'll show you how to kill one properly. Right. Yeah, sorry. Not bad. Take the camera, but it's finished. Right, guys. What we've got? You hear people about karate chopping, hanging the rabbit by the neck. Chopping behind the head. You just we are fine to do it. Grab it by its front legs, just behind its head, push its chin back. Like that. That's one dead rabbit. Easy done, you'll get a couple of kicks with nerves to start with. But that's all there is to it. It's easier than trying to like, force the rabbit. So there you go. Hey guys, just goes to show, people ask if they should use ferret finders, I don't think that. It just goes to show really how invaluable the ferret finders are. Two rabbits, literally two foot down, if that. If you didn't have a ferret finder, you wouldn't have known that and you could have been sitting it out for hours. Now, we're getting the two rabbits and the ferrets are back down. Hey guys, looks like we're held up again. It's all part of ferreting. This is where where walk is over there. He's a uh, ferret finder saying four foot. So he started digging a, a one man battle trench. He's a good little digger, he gets on with it. That's why I bring him. That was best. Once you've dug the, the rim out here, yeah, grass you're gonna dig out. That was best to just check to make sure it's still there. So there's no worse than starting to dig and the fed up moving on. And that's what he's doing now. I think the other ferret, by the look of it, the other ferret's gone to ground as well, because uh, he's gone quiet. It's moved, the foot. Just goes to show you, start digging, always check. It's moved a foot the other way, so I could have dug a hole for nothing. I've just said that. Right guys, like I said, the second ferret's laid up as well by the look of it. And according to the locator, between two and three foot. So, going to be on another dig over this end as well.
Dit. Back here, three foot. <laughs> yeah, three foot. Well, as you can see, we started digging. We started digging. Uh, the ferret moved and decided to come back. And just as I was about to dig again, the rabbit bolted out the hole and I missed it. Typical. God, I'm sick of telling them putting netting up. Digs a hole and leaves it open. You should just knock it. Yeah. Okay. Three foot. Man have shovel will dig. Just take your time out. No one thing. This one's not getting away. That one's dead. You know what's gonna happen now you said that? I said it was the reason why I brought him. As you can see, this virgin soil is very um, fertile. Easy to dig, especially when you've got a camera on your hand.
You're not having a good deal today. that one gun. Oh. As I said before, the easiest way to kill it, instead of picking it up and chopping it across the back of the neck and causing the rabbit suffering, pick it up just behind the shoulders, palm of the hand on the chin, push back till you hear a click, and there you go, one painless, easy death. Hey right, guys, that's us, uh, we've got the nets off that one. Three good sized rabbits there. Um, Ferrets worked well as a, as a good little team. Pretty one got away, but that's that's the way it guns. Same as everything. All the holes have been filled in. You've got to watch for the, the cows when they come onto the field, they didn't fall doing the holes. And uh, we're going to move on to the next one. I know, hang on, I'm going to get camera. Daryl's got a new friend. That's not a rabbit. My new friend. <laughs> Just wait, he's got his wellies in the van. <laughs> right guys, as you can see, we've got the, the black and white cat 